I love basketball, and in particular, especially recently, I have loved watching Kawhi Leonard play basketball. He doesn't complain to the refs like a lot of other people. He doesn't. He just gets to his spots, shoots his mid-ranges, boom, bam, bop, board man gets paid, and it's over with. But he's injured for game four, so is Paul George. They could go down 3-1 unless Westbrook puts up a master class. And overall, this Clippers duo of PG and Kawhi has really not lived up to expectations. So today, we're going to be trading everyone on the Los Angeles Clippers. So yeah, that means Kawhi, Paul George, Russell Westbrook. Russ, you just got here. Pack your bags. It's over. We're trading everyone on this basketball team because I think the Clippers could use a clean slate. Now, unfortunately for them in real life, they basically have like no draft picks because they gave them all to the Thunder. But here today, we're going to make moves and try to make this team an instant champion. First of all, we're going to go out and get Drew Holiday and Chris Middleton. We're trading away Kawhi, but we're going to add two guys who have championship experience. Does that matter in 2K? Probably not. Now we're looking at trading Paul George. And Paul George, he's a good basketball player. He's a really good basketball player. He'd give me a bucket. He dunks. He shoots threes. He shoots mid-ranges. He, he does it all, man. But unfortunately for him today, he's going to Golden State. Or I guess that'd actually be pretty good for him. But I, I don't know. Jordan Poole, Clay Thompson, welcome to the basketball team. And I also actually have all the real-life rules on and everything. So we're not going to be able to just add players and immediately trade them. We're also not going to be able to trade draft picks we couldn't trade in real life and I'm also going to have injuries on for this rebuild just because I wanted to try something different now we're looking at Russell Westbrook trades and if I needed another guard some of these moves would have been crazy like we could have got Chris Paul although in the playoffs Russ has been going crazy he's been playing way better than Chris Paul but in 2k they got Chris Paul at 87 Unfortunately, we didn't need a point guard, though, so we're going to go ahead and get Alper and Sangoon. Then we're going to look at trading Avita Zubats and Norman Powell, and we've got some really solid offers on the table here. Walker Kessler really stuck out to me. Young big man. We can have the young big man core with Alper and Sangoon and Walker Kessler. That, that's a nice little one-two punch in terms of big men. Both of them can't really shoot, but in 2K, that doesn't really matter. So, yeah, that's a nice trade for us, and we got to go ahead and pack up Mason Plumley. And also, we're going to include Terrence Mann in the trade. We were able to get some really solid trade offers in this video. What I liked was we were able to put together trade packages with some of these role players and get some guys who could really help us. And I think that's something you look at if you're the Clippers and you might want to move towards a rebuild. I mean, they do have a lot of role players who could be interesting for contenders. And maybe that's a reason not to rebuild. If you could get a year where Kawhi and PG are healthy, I mean, I'm not saying this year's wraps they're just gonna need a big Russell Westbrook game in game four or maybe another big Norman Powell game to try and save their season but it's crazy that Kawhi and PG aren't available for this one I mean obviously injuries happen and stuff and I hope that both of those guys can get healthy and things like that but it seems like it's just one injury after another you hate to see it though because man when Kawhi is healthy he is just incredible defensively offensively I mean he ends up bouncing back from all these injuries and yeah it took him a little bit to get back to form but it really at this point doesn't seem like he's lost a step he might have gained a step because he is really going crazy and I think that the Clippers could have beat the, actually you know what I'm just gonna say it I think the Clippers would have beat the Suns if they're at full strength maybe they still have a chance now but if they had everybody starting in game one I'm talking Kawhi PG Russ all those guys were hooping for them I don't think there's a way they beat the Phoenix Suns and you know what I'm gonna say this too because we're just trading 70 overall players 74 overall players whatever at this point I'm gonna say it I think the Suns are frauds I think they shouldn't have made the KD trade because KD he's kind of old he's kind of injury prone they had Mikhail Bridges. They had Cam Johnson. Both of those guys are doing good in Brooklyn. And Mikhail Bridges, in a bigger role, can score a lot. And you would have had Cam Johnson. You would have had more depth. You traded away all your depth. You're not getting any type of scoring from that bench. Like, yeah, y'all might be cooked. Even if the Suns end up advancing to the second round, it's wraps. Whoever y'all face in the second round, I think they're getting you up and out of here. I need to calm down. Back to the video, though. We're doing really good around halfway through the season. Unfortunately, Klay Thompson did break his left kneecap, which sucks. But... 
we're here at December 31st. We got a W against the Indiana Pacers, and we're, we're looking good, man. I think that this could be a really good season for us. We were able to put together a new core with guys like Drew Holiday, Chris Middleton, Walker Kessler, Alperin Sangoon, Jordan Poole, Clay Thompson. Like, we've got a team that really has playoff frauds written all over it. What I mean by that is we don't have one star. It's kind of like that one Atlanta Hawks team in the East that had like three, four All-Stars. I think it was like the 2014, 2015 Hawks, something like that, where they had a lot of good players, but they didn't have one star player who they could go to. And I feel like that's kind of where we're at, but maybe we can make something happen. We're heading into the playoffs, less than 50 wins. We did have the clay broken kneecap injury, so... I feel like we're better than our record indicates. We'll have to see, though. Alperin Sangoon was the most improved player, so that, that's a good sign heading into the playoffs. We've got the Dallas Mavericks here in round one. They have Luka and Kyrie, so that'll probably be a tough matchup for us. And Klay Thompson led the team in scoring, but you see what I mean? We kind of just had an evenly distributed scoring effort. We did not have one player average over 20 points per game. Klay Thompson was our leading scorer at 18.1. All right. Let's go ahead and let's get into this first round matchup. Like I said, the Mavs, they have Luka and Kyrie. This team really isn't that crazy besides their stars, but their stars are really good at basketball. Although ever since they added Kyrie, it was rough for the Mavericks. They didn't end up making the play-in tournament, and now they're just hoping those lottery odds do something for them. Imagine if they land Wembenyama, though. That'd be absolutely nuts. Okay, well, it looks like we might do a typical Clippers thing and blow a 3-1 lead. We'll see what happens, though, in Game 7. No offense to Clipper fans. I'm trying to win y'all a championship here. I'm trying my best. All right, in Game number 7, though, we go ahead and we clutch up. We win by 20 points. Clay Thompson comes up big for us. Jordan Poole, the baddies were courtside. Ha, 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 funny. Terry Rozier has a good game. Luka Doncic, of course, he's Luka Doncic. Let's go ahead and let's get into the second round, though. The 8 seed Grizzlies upset in the number one seed, and now they're here. Now, the Grizzlies aren't your typical 8 seed. I feel like they're a really good team. We'll have to see what happens, though. Game one, we win. Game two, we win. Never mind. They're not good. They're terrible. They don't inspire fear in anyone's hearts. Y'all seen that one meme? All right, bro. Let's go ahead and let's get them out of here. Game number six, they're done. All right. Denver Nuggets, Nikola Jokic, the MVP of the league in this simulation, and maybe the MVP of the league in real life for the third time in a row. We'll have to see what happens. Game one, we take. Game two, they take. Game three, we take. Game four, this is a big one. We don't want this series to be tied up. Let's see if we can take it. We do. 3-1. We're not worried anymore. We're headed to the NBA Finals. Chris Middleton, Cash Money Chris, is headed to the NBA Finals. Two guys with just beautiful haircuts, Chris Middleton and Trey Young, headed to the Finals to face off against each other. All right, Hawks versus Clippers. Now, 2K loves some Atlanta Hawks basketball, but guess what? It doesn't even matter. We're up 3-1. Come on, give me my ring, bro. Give me my ring. The greatest virtual basketball GM ever. Let's go. I'm joking, by the way. Don't take that too serious in the comments. Okay, bye-bye. Have a good day. See you all in the next one. Peace.